to make this scroll down. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I need it to stay in focus on me while I try and do this with my feet. Hello everybody, Tristan Universe here, and welcome to another unboxing video. I know it's been a while since I've done one of these, but today I have a very, very special thing to unbox. Recently I was contacted by the folks at NISA, or NIS America, the developing and publishing company responsible for such titles as Disgaea, and my favorite series of all time, the Danganronpa series. And they offered me the opportunity to do an unboxing of one of their new limited editions coming out, and naturally I was like, yes. Yes, please, thank you. So that's what I'm here to do today. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, it's time to open the box. Wow. Gotta get through all the bubble wrap. Okay. Oh, cute. Don't look at me while I'm trying to record. <laughs> I love unboxings! I know! So the title of the game that I am unboxing today is Lapis Labyrinth, and this is the box right here. It's being released on May 28th for both the Nintendo Switch and the PS4. So, I got the Switch version, obviously, as you can tell right here by this symbol. Alright, um, it's beautiful. I really like the cover, uh, because I really like when, um, graphic design plays with, uh, negative space. So I like the cover a lot. And the back is cute too. From what I can tell from the trailers, it's a side-scrolling RPG with a selection of cute characters that you can play as. And the point of the game is that you're responsible for adventuring through dungeons and collecting treasure. And from seeing the trailer, I can tell that it's 100% a game that I'm going to be interested in playing. So I'm really excited about this. And with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and open up this limited edition. Maybe, if I can get it open. Wow. Alright, so it has the cover thingy that's gonna come off. And reveal a black box that has the same, um, same image as the front on this wrapped around here, and that looks really nice. Once again, it's playing with negative space, so I really like it. I really like the design of this box. Cute, you can see all the little characters that you can play as. Let's see if I can open... If I can open this box without messing it up. I am literally- oh, there we go. Okay, I got it. Okay, well it took me like a minute and a half to open up this box, but I finally got it, so that's exciting. Good job, me. Alright, the first thing that pops out <laughs> is the soundtrack. Um, this is called- the, the, this is called Dango- Dan, Dango Beats. What if it's Dango? I don't know, Ariana, what if it's Dongo? It might be Dongo. It's probably Dongo. Dango? Dongo? That box is so cute. It's probably not gonna focus on it, but that's okay. Um, that's cute. Let's see what I can get out of here next. And the other thing that every good limited edition has is an art book. Every, every good one has an art book. And this is no exception. It's called Lapis Labyrinth. My Labyrinth Photo Album, Squiggly Line Heart. Cute. Cute. Shows all the different characters that you can play as, and gives little descriptions about them, and then it also has a bunch of art from within the game, so. I would say that that's a, it's a pretty standard, um, a pretty standard. I'm getting distracted by all the art in here, it's really cute. A pretty standard art book is what I'm trying to say. The other good thing that every limited edition comes with... The game! <laughs> I would hope that a limited edition would come with the game. But yeah, so as you can see, I did get the Switch version. It's gonna look nice on my shelf, which you can't see because it's right over there, out of the shot. And it actually just looks exactly like the front cover of, um, of the box. So, that's my, that's my review of this. Alright, and the last couple of things that are in this limited edition are these little posters, which I will show you once I 
open it. First off, you get two little, um, like, photo card, like, photo card posters of, um, they have a picture of this in the art book, too. This one's called Mare's Special Feast. I don't actually know what that means at the moment since I haven't played the game yet, but I can assume that it's the Mare's Special Feast. <laughs> I'm really funny. And then the second one is this. This one's really cute. I like this one a lot. Um, this one's called, okay, Dango or Dongo? Dango? Delights? I'm not sure. Um, but that's what it's called. And it looks like this character is eating the heads of all the other characters, or a couple of the other characters, so that's really cute. So yes, it comes with these two. And these are really cool. And then the last thing that we have, a mini poster of the cover art. I don't want to try and bend it too much, but it's a mini poster. And it's cute. I like it a lot. I keep talking about how I really like the design of the, um, of the cover, so it's cool to, to get it on a little poster. I just, oh, it's so cute. Um, also, I would just like to comment really quick that this is really nice paper that this is printed on. It doesn't feel like normal paper. And I know that that's random, but as someone who's very particular about the paper that their posters is made out of, um, posters are made out of, that's proper grammar, I can't speak. Uh, this is really nice. I don't, I don't know why, I'm not quite sure, um, what makes it different, but it just doesn't feel like normal. So, once again, to review the things that came in this, this mini poster, excuse me while I throw everything everywhere, it's all just sitting on my lap, uh, these two mini prints, game, art book, and soundtrack. I am really excited to play this game, and I'm not just saying that because uh, because they sent me the limited edition. Um, it's something that I'm actually interested in, and I'm sure my roommate would have picked it up, and I probably would have played it at some point down the line, because I know now that I've mentioned it, my roommate's really interested in playing it, so I know that he would have got it. Other than that, uh, I think it was a pretty a pretty good a pretty good limited edition. Um, and I want to hang up the poster, so that's that's how I feel about this limited edition. I wanted to give a special shout out to the folks at NISA for giving me this wonderful opportunity because it's my first time ever receiving any kind of offer like this. I'm going to go ahead and post a link to the trailer in the description below, along with a link to uh, their website and any other links that I think are important. And once again, I do want to remind you that this, uh, this game is coming out on May 28th, so that's pretty soon next week. I forget what day it is next week. Nice. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Turn on the notification bell so you always know when I'm posting videos. And finally, in the comments below, let me know if you're going to pick up a copy for yourself and if you're interested in this game at all and what your favorite part about it is. And so, I want to thank you all so 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 very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video, which is probably going to be the Fanime video. Fanime 2019. It's gonna be lit.